Hello again, Art Snackers. Welcome or welcome back to Hot in the Shop. In this video, I'll be showing you some card decorating techniques using the Fabriano Medio Evales Stationery. But first, if we haven't met yet, my name is Jenny. I'm a mixed media artist and the content creator behind an artfullylivelife.com. All right, let's get into some card making. Introducing the Fabriano Medio Evales Stationery Box. It comes with 20 pre-cut soft white cards and matching envelopes. Each card has a deckled edge on all four sides and a pre-marked fold line so there's no need to measure. These are elegant cards that are great to have on hand, but don't wait until the last minute to do something with them. Let me help you get started on a card stash that's ready to go for any occasion. For the first card design, I'm using the King Art Pro Color Brush Pens in the Botanical set. You'll find two pinks and two greens in this set and they all work beautifully together. To begin with, I'm using the wells of the Elven Heritage Arts Rectangular Plastic Palette to deposit each of the four colors. Using the Derwent Push Button Water Brush, I pick up some color from the well and brush it onto the paper. Starting about halfway down the card, I'm painting in ovals and circles with the pink colors. Some are lighter, some are darker, some are bleeding into each other. There aren't many perfect shapes, but that's okay because this will be a background. Next, I do the same thing with the greens. I place them below the section of the pinks and they're gonna go almost to the bottom of the page. After the background is completely dry, I used a credit color fine art graphite pencil in 2H to lightly sketch in some botanical doodles. At this point, I discovered that the paper for the cards is pretty forgiving with graphite. I was able to erase unwanted marks easily and without harming the paper. I'm sure by now you can see where I'm heading with this design. The pink section of the background is to give the blooms some color, and the green section of the background is to represent the stems. To ink in my lines, I'm using the Kiritake Zig Wink of Luna Metallic Brush Pen in Violet. When you first open the package for this pen, you'll notice some instructions on the back, but priming it for use is super easy. Yes, it looks very similar to a cosmetic product, but please don't apply it to your skin. It looks much better on paper anyway. To get the ink flowing, just unscrew the top from the barrel, remove the black plastic ring, and screw the cap back into place. Next, you wanna give it a really good shake. And from here on out, to take the top off and put it back on, you just pop it into place. Then give the barrel a good squeeze to get that ink flowing. Now going back to our card, I'm just going to take the Wink of Luna pen and go over my pencil lines. The soft nylon bristles are nice and flexible to allow for a variety in line weight, and the ink flows out smoothly onto this paper. You can get as detailed as you want to. Add some lines on your flowers, add some veins on your leaves, go right on ahead. You can also get heavier lines by pressing down to the belly of the brush. You can call it done at this point, however, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm punching up the color by applying the pens directly to the petals and leaves. I'm not taking great care to keep inside the lines. Actually, I think it looks better if it's a little more haphazard than that. And your card is ready. All you have to do is add the sentiment for the occasion you want on the upper half. Here's another version of the design with a lighter background and not as much greenery. Don't be afraid to explore your options. For the second card, I'm going to use the light green again from the botanical set, but I'm also using a blue and gray from the King Art Pro Color Brush Pens nautical set. Just like the first card, I put some ink in the palette, then pick it up with the brush to apply it to the paper. This allows for light washes of color. By adding a little bit of water, I can get more variety in color. I'm being a little more intentional in my placement of these shapes than I was in the first card. I want bigger swatches of color, and I'm interested in allowing the colors to bleed and overlap. I do actually bring in some of the dark green pen from the botanical set as well. As it stands, this is a pretty gender neutral color palette. You could add the words congratulations or happy birthday and be done with it. And I guarantee you the recipient would be very happy. But we are art snackers and we love to play with art supplies. So let's get into sketching out some tree doodles. I started with a tree smack dab in the middle to anchor them all and then added two on each side with various shapes and heights. In this time, I'm using the Kiritake Zig Wink of Luna metallic brush pen in black to ink in my lines. And you know I'm not gonna leave the innards of those trees empty, so let's spice them up with different designs. 
Now it seems to me that everyone has a favorite doodle mark that shows up in their work. Whether you're using them as filler in areas or you're just mindlessly doodling while you're on the phone. I think everyone has a go-to doodle. What's mine? Spirals. I love spirals. They're great to fill in areas. They're also really good for backgrounds. Leave me a comment below and tell me what your favorite doodle to make is. Scales are another go-to for me, and my notepads used to be riddled with them. But hey, this is your project. Fill these trees in with your favorites. And if my doodle theory is off and you don't have a favorite, well, just use mine. A few finishing touches and voila, another card completed. Our third card starts off with a different technique for the background. You'll want to grab a clear piece of plastic. I'm using a page protector, but you can use a Ziploc bag, or better yet, use a piece of cellophane packaging. I'm scribbling the three blues of the nautical pen set onto the plastic, then spritzing that area of color with some water. Next, I get my card back in place and flip the plastic over so that the side with the color is facing the card. Press the plastic down so that the color transfers onto the card. Being able to see through the plastic is really helpful because you can get an idea of where to place it on your card and you have the opportunity to move the color around a little bit. When you have the color where you want it, just lift up on the plastic gently. There always seems to be some excess water along where the plastic last touched the paper. A lot of that will blend out naturally, but just to be sure, I took my brush and feathered out the color a little bit. This paper isn't quite as heavy as watercolor paper, so it will curl a little bit. This is completely dry now, so I am coming in with the lightest pink in the botanical set and drawing in some petals. I placed the petals far enough apart so I could come in later and put in more petals in between the ones that are there now. Marking where I wanted the centers for two more flowers, I then come in and add the petals for those two flowers. As I color in the second round of petals on the center flower, you can see how the layers add depth. Karen Dash Luminance colored pencils go over these pens and this paper beautifully. I'm using brown ochre to fill in the centers. And I use the lightest green pen to make some stems and leaves. And I also add in a couple smaller flowers. The Luminance pencil in pink white is perfect for these highlights on the petals. And I add more color to the center of the petals and the tips with the brush pen. This boosts contrast and color saturation. I'm using the Luminance pencil in French gray to define the petals just a little bit more. Now we just have to address those stems. I'm using the Luminance Dark Thalo Cyanine Green, and that sounds a lot more menacing than it looks. I'm just using it to outline, add veins on the leaves, and do a little bit of shading. Here's another version I did of this design. I like the pink background, but I think I like the flower on the blue background better. Let's take a look at all three card designs, and I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Which one do you like better? Which one would you like to try? This stationery is great to have around. You don't have to be a card-making guru to decorate some cards and put some smiles on the faces of your friends and loved ones and send a heartfelt greeting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. All the supplies I've used today can be found in a link in the description box below. And to get 15% off these select products, just use coupon code HOT15 at checkout. While you're here, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe for more videos, join us for free over on Mix, and follow Art Snacks on social media.